The Northern Cardinal is one of the most beloved backyard birds. With an estimated breeding population of 120 million, cardinals are also one of the most common and widespread bird species in North America. They live in woodlands, gardens, shrublands, and wetlands, predominantly in the eastern United States and parts of Canada, and extending as far south as northern Mexico and Central America. In this video, we'll explore how you can make your yard a natural haven for cardinals. Most bird lovers want to attract cardinals to their yard and enjoy them year-round. But turning your yard into a habitat attractive to cardinals takes more than just putting out a bird feeder, although that helps. Let's dive into 12 strategies you can use to create an inviting space where cardinals feel safe, secure, and well-fed. Strategy number one, select the right feeder. Putting out bird feeders is an obvious first step, but the type of feeder you choose does make a difference. Cardinals prefer stable platform or hopper feeders that provide enough space for them to perch. As medium-sized songbirds, they need a little room to spread out, and some feeders with small perches won't accommodate their size. They are natural ground foragers and an open platform. Replicate that comfortably without the swaying movement that tube feeders often have. Strategy number two, provide their favorite foods. Once you have the right feeder, the next step is to fill it with their favorite foods. Cardinals love black oil sunflower seeds for their rich nutritional content, while safflower seeds offer the added benefit of being less appealing to squirrels. You can also offer peanuts, cracked corn, and dried fruit to add variety to their diet and keep them coming back year round. Strategy number three, spread out the buffet. Cardinals can be less aggressive at feeders than other birds and may get pushed aside by more dominant species. To reduce competition and keep all your feathered guests happy, consider setting up multiple feeding stations around your yard. This simple step can increase your chances of attracting even more cardinals, giving them the choice to move to a quieter feeder where they can dine in peace. Strategy number four, add a splash of water. Bird baths are essential for drinking and bathing and cardinals are no exception. Placing a bird bath near your feeder can turn it into a cardinal magnet, especially if you add gentle water movements like a dripper, fountain, or mister. Regularly changing the water and keeping it clean will make it even more attractive. Studies show that moving water is particularly appealing to cardinals, signaling a fresh, clean source. To keep your bird bath inviting year round, consider using de-icers in winter and solar fountains in summer. Strategy number five create safe havens with shelter and nesting spots. Cardinals need more than food and water to feel at home. They also require shelter. Dense shrubs and trees are ideal nesting spots, offering protection from predators and harsh weather. Evergreens, dogwoods, and honeysuckles in particular are excellent choices to attract cardinals. According to experts, dense vegetation is essential for drawing cardinals into an area, providing safe nesting sites and protection from predators. Plan a mix of shrubs of various heights, as cardinals often build multiple nests each season and may choose different locations for each one. Strategy number six, plant native berry producing shrubs. If you want to do something extra to boost the cardinal population in your yard, plant native shrubs that produce berries such as holly, service berry, or elderberry. Cardinals love these natural treats. Native plants play a pivotal role in maintaining local ecosystems and provide food sources that cardinals recognize and prefer. Try to grow a variety of shrubs that produce berries in different seasons so that you can offer these delicious treats throughout the year. Strategy number seven, keep predators away. Cardinals are very cautious about their safety. If they feel threatened by predators in your yard, they won't stick around. To keep cardinals safe, try to limit the presence of predators by keeping outdoor cats indoors and using deterrents, such as sprays or baffles on feeder poles to keep squirrels and other critters at bay. Since cardinals love to pick through fallen seeds beneath feeders, placing feeders 10 to 12 feet from ground cover gives them a chance to spot approaching predators and fly to safety. Strategy number eight, ensure a year round food supply. Cardinals don't migrate, so it's important to provide consistent food sources year round to keep them in your yard. This is especially crucial during winter when natural food sources are limited. Make sure your feeders are always filled with seeds that cardinals rely on, no matter the season. Studies show that providing food year round significantly increases the likelihood of birds returning. Imagine looking out at your snow covered yard and seeing a bright red cardinal land on your feeder. It makes the effort of maintaining a year round bird feeding regime worth it. 
Strategy number nine, make sure nesting material is available. Female cardinals build their nests using materials like twigs, weeds, pine needles, grass, and bark. They create an open cup-shaped nest and line it with soft plant material. To help cardinals easily find nesting materials, leave small twigs and grass clippings in your yard after trimming shrubs or mowing the lawn. You can also offer these materials in more visible locations, such as hanging an empty suet cage from a tree to hold nest building materials. Strategy number 10, cardinals need protein. Cardinals enjoy eating seeds, but they also rely on insects, especially during spring and summer when they feed their young. Caterpillars are a particularly important protein source for them. To attract caterpillars and other insects to your yard, plant caterpillar-friendly plants like dill, fennel, parsley, coneflower, milkweed, black-eyed Susan, aster, or vetch. Avoiding pesticide use in your yard can also help increase caterpillar populations for birds to find. Strategy number 11, don't clean up perennials. If you regularly prune and clean up perennials at the end of each season, consider leaving them standing through winter. These dried out plants can produce seed husks, providing food for cardinals during the colder months. You can always tidy up before spring blooms start. Strategy number 12, cover reflective surfaces. Male cardinals are notorious for fighting their reflections. Although they form groups during the winter, they become highly territorial in the spring and will fiercely defend their territory against what they perceive as rival males. If they see their reflection in windows or shiny surfaces, they can become confused and may attack their reflection, wasting time and energy and potentially injuring themselves. To prevent this, check your yard for reflective surfaces like windows or garden decorations that could act as mirrors cover or relocate anything that might cause confusion. Stick on bird decals can also help break up reflective surfaces and reduce the risk of accidental collisions. You can turn your backyard or garden into a haven for cardinals by following these proven strategies. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with friends, and subscribe for more videos. Don't forget to hit the bell for updates.